Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the difference between the elevation of the water surface in these two tanks which is connected to a horizontal pipe. So first, I will read what is the given problem. Determine the difference in the elevation between the water surfaces in the two tanks which are connected by a horizontal pipe in a diameter 300 mm and length 400 m. The rate of flow of water through the pipe is 300 liter per second. Consider all losses and take the value of F that is coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.008. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now here it is given that two tanks are getting attached up with a horizontal pipe. So first we have to show it. So this is the first tank and here is the second tank and we have to show a horizontal pipe. Now for this pipe the length is given that is 400 meter. So we can say that L is equal to 400 meter and the diameter is also given D is equal to 300 millimeter. So we have to convert it into standard unit that is meter. So we can say that it is 0 0.3 meter. Now what is happening when the water in the first tank is flowing through the pipe and getting discharged to the second tank then there are many losses. Now which losses are taking place? So we know that when water is flowing through the pipe there is the con water is in contact with the surface of pipe and friction is there and due to friction there are losses. Then at the entrance of pipe because first water is in the tank and then it is entering into the pipe then again there are the losses at the entrance of the pipe and when the water is discharged from this pipe to the tank so again there are losses at the exit of the pipe. So we have to consider all losses. So what is happening because of these losses there is the loss in head. So we have to show here the head of this water in the first tank that is H1 from the center of the pipe and here we have to show here in the second tank there is loss of head that's why we have to show at lower level that is the head that is H2. So now if we observe this we will move for the given data. Here the rate of flow is also given that is Q is also given so Q is equal to 300 liter per second so what is the standard unit that is meter cube per second so 300 into 10 raised to minus 3 that is 0 0.3 meter cube per second now what is the velocity while water is flowing through this pipe so velocity we will consider V and it is in the direction of the flow of water so we have to show here velocity v and we have to find out this because this velocity is not given in the data. So we know that this rate of flow is equal to q is equal to area into velocity. So what is the area of this pipe that is pi by 4 d square and what is this q that is given. So how to calculate velocity v is equal to q by a. So here v is equal to q by a that is equal to q by pi by 4 d square. So we have to put here value of q and d and when we calculate it we will get v is equal to 4.244 meter per second. Then the coefficient of friction is also given because we have to consider here the losses due to friction and which is equal to 0 0.008. Now how to find out the difference in the elevation of the surface of water in the two tanks. So for that we will consider here the section 1 at the first tank for the surface of water. Here is the section 1 and the section 2 for the second tank surface of water. So here is the section 2. Now we will apply Bernoulli's equation at section 1 and section 2. So what is the Bernoulli's equation that is 
पी वन बाय रो जी प्लस वी वन स्क्वेर बाय टू जी प्लस झेड वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू बाय रो जी प्लस वी टू स्क्वेर बाय टू जी प्लस झेड टू प्लस ऑल लॉसेस नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर दिस एक्शन वन सो वॉट इज द पी वन बाय रो जी सो दिस अर इज द सर्फेस ऑफ वॉटर इज ओपन टू एटमोस्फियर सो प्रेशर है वी हैव टू टेक झीरो then what is v1 square by 2g that is kinetic head so if we observe this water in the tank is stationary that is the velocity is negligible so we will consider again velocity v1 that is 0 so plus 0 plus z1 so now we will consider here the center of pipe as a line passing through the center of pipe as a datum line or we can say reference line so here the z1 we have to treat it as a h1 that is the height or elevation from the center of pipe to the free surface of the water level so here we will write h1 which is equal to now again we will move for the section 2 so again what is the pressure head so it is again open to atmosphere consider it as a zero velocity water in the tank is stationary so v2 square by 2g is again zero plus what is this z2 that is datum head so from this center of pipe here the elevation is h2 so i will consider here z2 as a h2 plus all losses now here under all losses we have to write loss at the entrance of pipe because here in at the entrance of pipe it is connected to the tank plus when water is flowing through this pipe there is the losses due to friction so h a plus loss at the exit of pipe because here at the exit it is again connected to the tank so we have to consider all the losses now we will calculate these losses so first we will calculate loss of head at the entrance that is h i is equal to 0.5 v square by 2g so v we, we have already calculated so what is the answer 0.459 meter now loss of head due to friction so coefficient of friction is given that is 4 f l v square by 2 g d that is 4 into 0.008 into l 400 v 4.244 square divided by 2 into 9.81 into d that is 0.3 So what is the answer? Thirty-nine point sixteen meter. Then loss of head at the exit. That is again v square by two g. So only v square by two g. So take four point two four four square by two into nine point eight one, which is equal to zero point nine one eight meter. So we have to take all the values here and we have to calculate it. Now we have to find out what is the difference in elevation. So here is the h one. That is more than this h two, so we have to show that. So I will write here h one is equal to h two plus h i. That is zero point four five nine plus thirty nine point sixteen plus zero point nine one eight. Now difference in elevation. That means h one minus h two that we have to find out. So I will shift here h two to the left hand side. So h one minus h two is equal to. So when we add this, we will get the answer. Forty point five thirty seven meter, and this is the answer.